Let's uh, uh, start our lecture today. And I go to our schedule. Uh, today we will discuss uh, selection structures today. You know, the quiz three will be due by next weekend, not this weekend. And in your next class, next week, at, the, at this time, we, you will have your test one. Test one will come module one to three. And I believe so far, whatever we discuss until today will be in your test one. So if we go to our uh, slides, repository, then module is about selection statement. Okay. We started selection structure in our last lecture. We discussed that unless otherwise it, all of the statements of a program are from the top to bottom one by one. But sometimes it is needed that we need to repeat some statement. Okay. That is we will discuss that later or sometime we need to take a decision on the result of on statement whether we will execute the following statement or we will that is the decision structure and uh, this actually this is a beauty of program if you are new in program, I think if you start practice from now, you will feel interest in programming. Okay, in order to do selection structure, we use some statements if, else, if, if, else, if, okay, which in our last lectures, we discussed if, else, if, and if, uh, else, if. We Start from there, okay. And so this is the something actually we discussed that in order to use a selection statement, we need to use a Boolean expression. And Boolean expressions use operations and sometimes logical operations. So these are relational operators we discuss greater than, less than, equals. This is equals log. Equal, relational equal, whether two numbers or two items are exactly equal. Okay, and this is not a Q, uh, not that converts a Boolean true to false or a Boolean false to true. Okay, and this is not equal, whether a number is not equal to another number. Although in our plain English, in mathematical term, we say that x equal to 5 but there's this equal actually this is is called assignment operator although we in english we say equal to x equal to 5. in plain english you say that x equal to 5 uh, that is that for instance i'm, I'm going to tell you that uh, if you say x equal to five. Okay. So this, although we say in English, this is equal to, but this is assignment operator. But we say X equal, double equal, there is no space in between five. This means this is a question. He's asking me whether X equal to five. This is a relational operator. This one is a relational. This one is a relational. 
yeah? this is assignment operator both are binary operators we discuss this and we also discuss logical operators logical operators are used to express the operation of logic circuits or logic gate as we know that not is used to convert a boolean value true to false false to true and and is used to check if there are multiple conditions Okay, all conditions needs to be true in order to get a true result. And for or, if there are multiple conditions, either on, either first or next or next, any of them needs to be true. Okay, these three are the main operators, logical operators we will use. <laughs> there is exclusive or exclusive not. These are Actually complicated. Exclusive or it checks whether two operands are exactly same or not. If two operands are then the result is zero. If two operands are different, the result is one. Exclusive for exclusive or we are exclusive or but uh, we will use exclusive and or not a lot. Okay, we just this, we discuss this, we discuss this. This is the condition, whatever we put over here, this will be, this will give us a single result, either true or false. We discuss this, and these are the actual factors we will use in our program. In most programming languages use these operators, these symbols. Okay, this is logic, uh, this is, uh, logical not this logical and and this is logical but in some languages like python, python is and this is ampersand but python use a in the end and python use yes, or or and not not for this one we are not discussing but here but in case you need so here we discuss the precedence of an expression. So this one will be executed first and it will give us a result. And then this side will be executed separately. It will give us a result. Finally, this result will be compared with the right hand result. And it will give us either a true or false value. Okay, so in some languages, like Python, it use indentation like space before a statement starts, and other languages use curly a brace, curly brace to make a group. And this is the if condition we discussed in this. This is the format of if condition. It takes a condition. The condition is true. It does something. If the condition is false, it does something else. Yeah. So this program, I ask you to practice. Is anyone had a chance to? In your test, please practice for this. To be prepared for the test, please practice this. Okay, you may. If you practice this, then you will get a similar question, but you will be able to do something like this in your test. So at the end, so in this question, it is asked you to take a user input of a temperature in Fahrenheit. Then it is asking you to display the converted temperature to the user. And as well as it is asked you to use some if statement. If temperature is greater than, that means greater or equal to 90, that means at least 90 degree Fahrenheit. Then he will give you some warning or something. Okay, this is the program. Program uh, pseudocode for this one. This is the format of if statement. But here we have print, but if you use an actual program, yes, 
like in Java, you have to use system dot out dot and for C sharp, it is what console dot in C plus plus you need to uh, use C out with C out. Okay, this is the format of if statements. Okay, so if statement works for the true block, if is the condition is not true, then it goes to the false block. That is means block. Okay, so if you understand do this, then it is you find the previous problem it's a little bit complicated. This is the if else statements, and we discuss and up in our last lecture. Anyone has any question to so far? That question. So now let us start from there and. to REPL IT then type in then type in R at the rate then my name Mokhtar then presenter then you will be able to see all of my all of my programs that I am discussing in this class okay so then you can open a program and you can copy your code and copy my code and paste in your section, okay? In your uh, account. Okay? You can do this. Okay. So this is the program that, remember that, we discussed in our last lecture. Let us start from here. What is the purpose of this program? We discussed this. We declared a variable integer variable and assign this value and we check if x is divisible by 2 that means if x modulo 2 equal to 0 that means then we will give this uh, this message that number x is an even number otherwise we will give otherwise means if this condition is false then we, it will be Telling us the number is what? That was the last thing we discussed in our last lecture. Okay. So anyone has any question for this? So far you understand, right? Okay, so if you understand this, then we want to expand this problem. Okay to know something more so what is it showing over here it is showing here that my number 15 is what right so that these statements was skipped skipped okay so it was not executed right because the reason that we guess that this was not true so let us check that whether really this was not true this was really true or false so let me print it out here at this position in a printing. I say I want to print over here that the number that the condition of I want to print. Okay, so if I print over here, this is the value. Print over here. I don't need parentheses. Then let us see what it shows. Like this part, only this part. Can anyone please tell me what will be the output of this line number seven? Yes. Anyone has a different idea? So it is giving me four, right? Yep. Either true or false. Yep. Fifty percent right, right? So 
to get a Boolean expression, if you guess, you have a 50% chance. You're right. Right? Okay, so you see that x equal to 15, then if we say x modulo 2, then what is 15 modulo 2? 1, that is equal to 0, right? That means it is false. So since this is false, this statement will be skipped. It will not, so it will go to the else block. Okay, then this will be executed. And since this console, this line is out of my, is irrelevant to my if else statement, so it will be always printed. Now let us change the number 150 from 15. So then now, what do you think my output will be? Okay, this one will be should be true and this one should be my number is even and should it show me this line yes okay number 15 is even it is showing me so something we have learned from here that a, the if statement is used to check a condition okay and based on the result of this condition, okay, this is, is, is this condition must be a Boolean condition. Yeah, based on uh, okay, Boolean expression, logical condition or relational condition. Based on the result, it will, if the result is true, then it will be executing this part. The block associated with if. And if it is not true, then it will be executing this part. Okay, if the condition is false, not true, then it goes to the else part. But for the else, you do not need to give any condition. Because we know that this condition is a relational statement, right? It will be either true or false. There's nothing in between. So if it is not true, then definitely it is false. So else, it works for the false condition, right? Okay. Everybody understands this so far? Anyone has any question? Okay, now let us understand if, else, if, else condition. So the, our next topic will be, okay, else if. Okay, else if always sits in between if and else. Okay, after if. Okay, if you have multiple, more than one conditions to check. If you have more than one conditions to check, then you will put your first condition in your, with your <laughs> if. And the remaining conditions, you will put else if. And at the end, you may have else else is will be used if all of the statements fail all of the conditions fail okay so using else if we can use multiple conditions right let us check our program here so we can do something like For instance, if x modulo 2 not equal to 0, you can see the number is 1. This way. If else if. Okay, you can write this way. What do we understand? My first condition I put if x modulo 2 equal to 0, and the second condition if it is not equal to 0. Let us run this. Okay. So, what do you, did we get? So, I got x. I got true for this one, 
this statement I got true and I got the number is even right so let us change this number to and what number 18 for instance now if I run this then it is showing me even right the number 15 is what conditions first this condition found not true false so it came to this it came true okay so by between this if and else if you cannot have any other statement this you can have like this you cannot Okay, I cannot have this. You see that it does not give too much error, but you cannot have this. So, for instance, this is the if block, this is the else block. In between the if and else if, you cannot have any orphan statements. This this statement is unrelated. Okay, you cannot have this. So, if I skip this. Then my program will run. Okay, now I want to use other conditions. Then all other conditions will follow this LC. Okay, but if I have okay, if I have something that does not follow any of these conditions. This one, this one, if it does match any of them, then we will say something else. This number, for instance, is not valid or something. Okay. The L block works if none of the previous conditions make. Okay. If one of this made, then else block will not be executed. For instance, if we run this program, we will get same result. Okay. Anyone has any question? At this point, I like everybody to give focus, give attention for the next how many minutes are you? Twenty more minutes. Everybody, if you are not using computer for keeping your lecture note, please turn off your computer electronic device. Turn off your phone, computer if you are not taking your lecture notes. Yeah, I like to give you focus, even. We will discuss something maybe new or transit from one thing. Yes, can you hear me from the back? Can you please turn off your computer laptop? Can you see the screen? Okay, then maybe what can I do? Better? Okay, thank you so much. I wish you would. <laughs> Okay. So for now, let us delete this. We don't need this line. Okay. Okay. We know that we use ALC to test multiple conditions, more than one conditions, right? The first condition we put with if, and the other conditions we put with ALC, ALC, right? <laughs> So how about if I have multiple conditions true? More than one true conditions. For instance, if I say again, if x equal to zero, 
if x modulo 2 equal to 0 and then i want to say is not what right my this is is valid right the number not what that means even right so if i say x modulo 2 equal to 0 then i want to print the number my number x is even by the way here we are using two concatenate is with a number people who are new please give attention there I the number and then within double code and you see that i give a space of my number so that i get a, get a space over here and instead of putting x within the double code i put x outside the double code right because for this place i want it to display the actual value of x this is why i put this plus x this plus is not a mechanical plus operator. It is called plus operator to concatenate to join two strings, a string with a variable. Okay. Give another space before is. So this is why this space. Okay. So here, so I have this condition is true. This condition is okay. Can anyone guess what will be the output of this program? How many lines I will get? Will I get output from this line? Okay, how many of you say yes? Anyone here? I'll be with you, okay. If you say no, or yes. Okay, actually, we will not get output from this line. Let us run it and see. Oops. Okay, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> so my number is what, right? Let us make it even. Okay, my number is what, you see that then it is. it gave me, uh, the number is not valid, else. Block, okay and because neither of this condition match but here i'm 150 so this condition is made is made and this condition is made right get result for this line one this will get result for this line. let us run this so you see that right if my number is even that for sure that is not what right but I did not get my expected result for this. What is the reason? Yes, the nature of if condition, if else, else condition, as soon as it gets the true, it forgets the remaining. Okay, it gets out from the it gets out from the whole block. So since this one, it found this one true. Even it does not check check this one, it does not check this one. Did we understand this? But this is a kind of imitation of if else if state, right? For some reason, if I want to check multiple conditions, one after another, not condition together. Conditions that I could give right away here, right? but for sure that I do not know the next condition. For instance, I want to check: Are you a student? You say yes. I want. Are you a KSU student? You say yes. Then I said I want to check: Are you a CS or IT or computer software engineering major? You say yes. Right. I'm getting conditions one after another not all together right in that case if and else if is not applicable okay so we have to think differently so there is an alternative way to do that okay so that i can do there is different way i can use for instance the different if 
instance this i can check this you can do different if then this if is not related to this if yeah so then if i say I, another if okay then in this case this else is associated with this if not this okay and this so now it shows that right it is checking for this one then it found the number is even then it is checking this one and it got the number is not what that means even so i can use multiple if statements but this if is this from this if else okay this is a way to have but my previous else if, if i say else if then all of one all together what one one is here two if i say this one two different if this one doesn't else but it, it has an else block yeah so we can do that way but there is by the way this is the structure of if else statements so if else has multiple conditions as i said First condition will go with if, conditions will go else if, else if. If the first condition may, it will not go to the other conditions. It will do certain block. If the first condition becomes false, then it will go to the second. If the second condition fails, then it will go. Okay. Will not go to the next one. This is the format of if else. Okay, now we have redefined the previous. Well, I did I got it. <laughs> okay. So in this program, we are taking Celsius temperature and we are converting to Fahrenheit. Okay, remember that we are converting to Fahrenheit. Let me give another right.
okay then we are taking cells temperature in celsius and then we are converting it to fahrenheit and based on the temperature on fahrenheit it is giving you a message whether it is really hot or very warm or beautiful weather something right so here when we convert our temperature okay so you see that the sequence we are checking for instance let us think that we today's temperature is 95 degree fahrenheit okay so that you see that we will check 95 okay so look at this condition everybody please give attention how do we put so we know that 95 is greater than 70 right 95 is greater than 80 and 95 is greater than 90 right so but in order to do your program correctly you have to put when you use greater than sign you have to put the largest point first okay so that means if your temperature is 95 then it will check only this condition and we know that if my temperature is 95 right definitely it is greater than so greater than 80 and 70 but when this condition is checked other conditions will not be checked right you understand but if you would get different way for instance if you would check 70 over here and if you get 90 over here what will tell you for instance my temperature is 95 over here today but you do it is a very like this message or for instance it is a very pleasant instance if i have this over here if i had for instance if i had this over here 75 is 70 is right we say you see that our program would give wrong result so what i'm telling you that if you have used greater than sign to put the greatest condition first otherwise but if you want to check less than if your condition is over here less than operator less than then you have to put the smallest number first okay please do some practice okay the last one we want to discuss for the next 10 minutes I stole this story in another uh, you know, section. Let me put it. I want to give it two minutes back. So that you can give full attention. I like everybody to give attention for the next uh, eight minutes. This is the story. I think everybody knows this. Yeah. Is there anyone here to see how to do fishing? Nothing. Anybody here did not see ever? How to do fishing, how to catch fish on a pond or a river or a lake or ocean. How to do fishing, right? Everybody, even if you give it, there is a You never did this, then you have seen that, right? Okay, my, my story is that no matter how many fishes are there in a pond or a lake or ocean, no fish will jump into your bucket. We have to catch the fish. No fish will there ever to jump to the boat. You know, we have fish. We are having fish. There are four fish here, six professors, and then there are six fishes. And there are other people to help you. We are a group of fishes. Nobody will jump to you. You have to catch them. If you face any problem, you have to come to us, or you will never go to you. You understand my story? Okay, we every day are in our, in our office hour. We wait for you, but only a few. Okay, that's good. If you do not come, that means we will understand that you are fine. You do not have any problem. If you feel problem, then feel free to come. We will not give up, we will never go to you, okay? Okay, for the next five minutes, give your attention, please. <clears throat> there 
is another another uh, silver structure that is nice that is called switch okay a switch statement war in case more likely as if else if else if it has some extra strength and extra power okay a switch statement likes works this way for instance, this is the chart of a switch. You will put an expression value over here, and based on the value of this expression, you will jump either of these blocks. You can jump in one block, and you can jump in, in more than one block. So this is the difference. You can also execute more than one blocks. In switch here, the structure of a switch statement is that there will be a, 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 a this is called index variable of this switch so the programs execute based on this value value of this variable sorry okay if like variables value for instance is number one then it will execute this block if its value is number two it will execute this block three then it will execute this block third block and if its value is none of this then it will execute the default block okay you see that in some blocks there is a break statement associate with this case okay so this break means once you this statement if you want to get out from this switch then you need to use break if you do not use break then it will what it will do it will also check the next case if you do not use this break then it will check the case too in your test okay you may get a question like this that in somewhere in switch statement in some code give attention to the break if there is a break missing if there is a break statement missing that you understand that the next case will be considered will be checked whether that is true or false okay For instance let me show you this one This one last one maybe four five minutes last minutes i want to discuss so this is the you see in a condition this is my condition this is called the index variable or, or counter variable of the switch the entire switch statement works with this condition value you see the condition is what kind of integer value right an integer value and what we are doing for instance we are getting Fahrenheit. Maybe in, in our previous problem, maybe in decimal number. But here we are converting that flow rate, decimal number, into integer. That is called type casting. Finally, we are converting an integer. Okay, and then we are dividing that by number 10. So the result, entire result is coming as an integer number. Integer number, for instance, then 95, for instance, if this result, if your temperature is, for instance, 95, then 95 divided by 10, what is this value? Can anyone please tell me? It is an integer value, it will give me 9, not 9.5. The reason is that uh, my condition value is an integer, right? This will give me an integer result, not the fraction. Okay, so then if my value is 9, then it will check this one, right? It will make case 9. That means case is that my condition is 9. So it will get this one. And after this break, if I have this break, then it will get out from the switch, entire switch, and it will not go. Okay. And you see the default block has a break, but it is optional. Default, you can, you 
can keep this break or you can skip it for the default value you don't need to hit a break the break default break break is optional for all other other cases breaks it has some meaning but in your test if you do not see break then give special attention to the next case okay see that if anything else matches okay and i think we are at the end almost at the end of our slides and so now everybody so do some practice okay without practicing you cannot understand this anybody has any questions so far yes thank you so much and i will see you in next